Good evening, everyone. It's Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons, a.k.a. Chris, back with another video. And Coco Bean. Oh, do I have fuzz? Yeah, and Coco. It's Friday night. It's about 20 after 8. I have a small Dollar Tree haul, and I have a piece of friend mail, and then I want to share some information with you. Um, uh, something that happened to Elsa the Bargain Hunter and myself. Um, just want to share that. She shared the story on her YouTube channel, so I'm going to share the story on mine. But I'm going to put Coco down. It's Friday night. I'm glad it's the weekend. I am exhausted. It was a long week. Put in a lot of hours. Um, but I love my job. It's very challenging. Um, I beat myself up a lot sometimes thinking... Why don't I remember that? Or why can't I do that that fast, you know? But everybody's been so supportive. And they're just like, Chris, you're doing a great job. Don't, you know, don't stress. So, yeah. But anyways, I had to go. Um, I worked at my out-of-town office today. And Tyler, need, tar, Tyler started school yesterday. And he came home and he said he needed a few things for school. So I said, well, I'll buzz to the Dollar, Dollar Tree during my lunch hour so to get the few items he needed. And then Trenton needed, um, he's not probably going to like this, but I got it because it was the only one I could find. Coco! Shh. He's just over there laying down, just making those noises. But anyways, I got this lanyard for Tyler. Or not for Tyler, for Trenton. He probably won't like it, but he can put it in his pocket. Um, I got it for him to put his key to his locker on. Um, he has a key lock. They have a key locker. So I got him this to put his key on it, and hopefully he won't lose it. But that's the only color I could find, so I grabbed it. I'm going to look at my local Dollar Tree tomorrow to see if they have a different colored one but I grabbed this one just in case I didn't that way he at least has something to put his key on because oh my god if we lose that I can only imagine what that would cost to replace and then of course these got me at the checkout lane three set three sheets of stickers there they always get me at the checkout lane so Tyler needed a composition book so I picked up two i picked up one in blue and one in green for him and he needed a binder so i picked him up just a plain white binder nothing fancy schmancy and i picked him up a folder to put inside it so he has somewhere to put his sheets of paper and yeah if he wants to if there's a syllabus or what have you he can put it right in here for the class I don't think he told me what class this was for, so, because they, you know, who knows, they use a lot of, like I said, my kids use computers in school, um, more so Trenton than Tyler, Tyler school, they still use a lot of, um, they still use paper and pencil and, you know, books, but then I saw this cute coloring book at Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree never gets cute coloring books. But I saw this one and I thought I'd pick it up. Look how pretty it is to begin with. That's what caught my eye is the cuteness. And then just look at this. If I can flip the pages. Just look how pretty. Pretty, pretty. So I picked that up to add to my collection. And then I hauled these yesterday, but I'm like, they're so stinking cute. I gotta have another pair to do a giveaway for, or just to have. Let me check on Coco. It's okay, Coco. He's just fussing, fussing, fussing. But I hauled these yesterday, so I picked up another pair. So it's the Melt and Cookie BFF. And I just think these are the cutest stinking socks. So you get this pair and then you get this striped pair. So I thought they were cute. So I picked up another one just to have an extra pair in case I want to do 
a giveaway or who knows, Trenton may even, if they have crazy sock day at school, he'd, trust me, I don't know if they'd fit his big feet, but he'd wear these socks and wouldn't even think twice. <laughs> I think they're so cute. But anyways, I got another thing of friend mail today. I went to the P.O. box and um, I received something from Theoni at Thrifty Divas. If you are not subscribed to Thrifty Divas, go and check her channel out. I'm going to be catching up on videos this week. Um, I try to watch some every single night, but some nights I am just like, so exhausted I've been trying to make myself be in bed by 10 o'clock so yeah last night I think it was 10 45 and I was paying for it this morning when that alarm went off so <laughs> I'm just like Chris you're working full-time now you can't you know be up but anyways look at this cute little these are so cute she gets them in the I believe in the teacher section at your Dollar Tree Chris, would you believe I found these in a store in New York? So she thought of me. So, thank you, Theoni. But I had opened the envelope, but I hadn't opened what she sent. But look at this pretty tissue paper and the pretty little sticker. I'm anxious to see. I'm anxious. I love friend mail. Doesn't everybody love getting friend mail instead of a bill? never <laughs> ever seen these <gasps> oh my gosh oh i will definitely be sporting these theoni definitely look at that the state that is our state i am in indiana oh my gosh i love them i will be sporting these socks definitely this winter when i'm wearing my long pants and long sh and long shoes <laughs> long pants and I'll be wearing these these are cute thank you Theory. I have never ever seen socks with Indiana on them never ever oh the medical office that I work at it's so the doctors they wear some of the coolest socks you know you can see when they sit down and they're you know the chair there and it's like oh now I'll fit in this winter <laughs> with my Indiana socks and then my BFF socks. But thank you, Fiona, these are so cute. I've never, ever, I've lived in Indiana all my life and I've never seen Indiana socks, never. Well, I've seen like IU socks because you know we're big Hoosier fans here in Indiana, but these are cute. I've never seen any with the state outline. So thank you, Fiona, for thinking of me. That is so cool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I'll save the tissue paper. I always save the tissue paper. Well, anyways, I want to share a story. I'm going to pull the stool up. I want to share a story that happened to my very, very dear friend, Elsa, from Elsa, the bargain hunter, and I. Excuse me. She sent me a package. Coco, do you want to come sit with me? It's just over there on the couch like come pay attention to me but um Fiona, or Fiona Elsa had sent me a package she mailed it out like last Friday and she had told me that she had mailed this package out because she had bought my boys Tyler and Trenton she had bought my boys school supplies and so she sent them in a priority um box from the post office that you get prior you know the priority shipping mailbox so she shipped it and i'm not sh i can't remember when it landed at my post office but they didn't put they didn't put it like my post office if you get something in your a package in your p.o box they either sometimes they have a locker so they put a key in your p.o box and you go get it in the locker or you get a yellow slip well, the one day I went and they were closed because I got home from late, work late. So I just left the yellow um, tag in my P.O. box because I thought hopefully they'll put a, you know, maybe they used all the lockers. They can put it in there tomorrow. So I went back 
and they did put it in a locker and it was just an envelope. You guys saw me, I did the friend mail video yesterday so you can go back and watch that. So when I opened it on air, it just had the priority list. Um, it was a really neat notepad um, to list your top priorities and then a highlighter, excuse me. And when Elsa watched the video, she texts me right away. She goes, Chris, is that all you got? And I said, yeah, it came in this envelope. And, you know, upon further investigation, you could tell that somebody had cut the top of the box off and taped it to this envelope and included just the two items. She had taken this box to the post office and mailed it directly from the post office. And then I have a P.O. box. So it went from her post office and travel, you know, then to my P.O. box. So we know it has to be an inside job. Somebody in the post office obviously thought they needed what was in that box more than, you know, me. But, um, yeah, so poor Elsa, she was so upset. I was upset because I was upset because I felt bad for her because she did this out of the kindness of her heart. And so she had to call and file, um, I think she called her post office and talked to the inspector or what have you, but she had to file a claim. And so just be careful. I just wanted to share the story and hopefully that doesn't happen to anybody else. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. I hope it's the last time that it happens to me. Um, but it's just sad that somebody took it upon themselves to open that box and then stuff the two items they didn't obviously want into an envelope and then tape that um, and ship it or put it in my P.O. box. So I just wanted to share that story and I love Elsa to death. I love her heart for doing it. I feel so sad that this happened to her and I. But you know what? We're the better person, and hopefully, hopefully they will sort it out and let her know, you know, what happened. So I just kind of wanted to share that story with you. So I had signed up because Elsa had talked about it on her channel about the informed mail. So I signed, I signed up for that. Um, so every day it's before like 8 a.m. You you get an email and it tells you what you're gonna, what's gonna be at your PO box or your home address. So I'm watching that every day, going, um, you know, just checking it every day so that way I can go and pick my mail up within a couple, you know, within a day or two. So I just wanted to share that story with you. So I appreciate your time on this Friday evening. I have got to get off of here. I have have to go well I'm not going anywhere I am going to place my Walmart grocery pickup order online here shortly for pickup on Saturday so I should have that video up I have to see what time slots they have so I'm hoping to get it picked up by noontime and do the video because at one o'clock I'm pampering myself I'm going and getting a pedicure <laughs> I need one it's overdue so I said you know what I'm gonna get one done so got activity and then we have activities tomorrow so but at one o'clock this girl is gonna be taking care of herself so <laughs> I hope everyone has a great weekend the weather was beautiful here in northern Indiana today of what I saw of it but <laughs> So, but it's the weekend and I plan on enjoying every second of the weekend because Monday will be here before we know it. And yeah, like my kids will be, it'll be their first full week back in school. So I'm sure they're going to be dragging by when Tyler was dragging after the first day <laughs> of school. And then Trenton, I got home from work last night. Um, I forget what time I got home. But he was already in bed sound asleep. I think I got home at like maybe 5.30, 6 o'clock. No, last night I worked, I think it was like 6.30 and he, he was already in bed. So school is kicking him in the hiney. 
So have a great weekend. I'll quit rambling and rambling. So I can't wait to go to my Dollar Tree tomorrow and see if I can find anything new. And my dear, dear friend from the Dollar Tree let me know that we are getting a snack zone. It's supposed to be in my store by the end of September. So that'll be nice because like I said, we've only got this teeny tiny, you know, we have like a half an aisle of snacks and that's it. So I'll be anxious, anxious for that to hit our store. So have a great weekend. If you're new, please tap the subscribe and then tap the bell so you get notifications when I post a video. So have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow on Saturday with my Walmart weekly grocery pickup. And I will also be doing um, a Dollar Tree video haul this weekend because I'm going to hit my local store. So have a great Friday night. I love each and every one of you for helping me to continue to grow my channel. It means the world to me and my boys. So have a great weekend. Have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow when I do my Walmart grocery pickup haul. Have a great night, everyone, and a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.